Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our FTB Interactions series. I am just crafting up some self-sacrifice runes, because I thought, uh, why not? Let's put together my the altar, the blood magic altar. We got the things for the quest. Um, I don't I can remember where the heck it is. Uh, Ethereal Slate Crystal Clusters, obviously, uh, we got the Crystal Clusters for this quest. Um, but I figured why not, while well, I'm, you know, other stuff is smelting up, or I'm waiting for stuff, I'll just kind of work on this as kind of like a little side quest. I don't believe we actually need the Tier 6 Altar, which, uh, kind of makes you wonder, like, why is this a part of a quest? <laughs> For the final item, but I guess it's kind of like something to work towards, you know. Finish all the mods, kind of expert sort of pack, but uh, yeah, this is pretty slow. <laughs> uh, I believe you can add more. Can't you add more of the the things? Or, oh, Gaia. We could upgrade it to Gaia. Did I fight the Gaia Guardian? I have fought the Gaia Guardian, haven't we? That's a thing that we did do. Right? Yes. Guy Spirits. Um, and a spreader. Oh. Does it not even use? Am I crazy? That doesn't use... The Gaia Mana Spreader doesn't use... It doesn't use the Gaia things? Is that normal? <laughs> I feel like every day I'm like, is this right? Am I crazy? Am I, that's, that should just be like my catchphrase. Hi, my name's Karx82. Am I crazy? Hmm. Doesn't I usually use a Gaia thing and that's why it's called the Gaia Bandits? It's just, it's obviously, obviously it's been modified, but uh, that, I didn't, I didn't even look because I just figured it needed a, a Gaia thing. Hmm. All right, today on R is confused. Also, did we, dang it. Uh, the Fluix, I just moved that because I was crafting up. That's right, I, uh, I was thinking this was the old recipe, but it is not. I was just crafting up that black steel dust. So I moved out one of these. City. I can't remember which one we actually <laughs> need. I'll just throw that in there. But, uh, all right. Totally just got distracted. What was I doing? Wow. Oh, Stellar Alloy. All right, yeah, and we do have the Energized Glisten. And sometimes it's it's really hard to remember what I did since the last episode. All right, yeah, so I guess I could have had this upgraded earlier. I did not know that. Yeah, there we go, Guy Mass Rider. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, that will speed this up a little bit because that is a... That is a slow process. All right, let's see how much faster that is. Oh yeah, that's much faster. <laughs> um, we are producing a ton of fuel though with that nitro boosted infused nitro diesel and three of those. So we are good to go. And I love being able to burn fuels or mana. It just fits so well with Greg Tech and like all the tech mods. Um, all right, I have the one more. Uh, I'm just going to go finish this up, and then I think today... What were we working on towards the Tier 2 reactor was one thing we had to work on. So we need these coils. That is something we need to work towards, and... Let's see. Right, Super computer, we do get four of those... Right, I did read that the Infinity 
Catalyst gives you some rewards. Now, that is in the final page, isn't it? All right, Infinity Catalyst. That gives the four wet wear mainframes. So I actually don't need to craft those up, which thanks for mentioning that. And uh, what else did I need to do? I kind of need to get red matter because we need, apparently we need a lot of zirconium. And uh, the other one is TNT, apparently we need a lot of, so I need to get that going. Thanks for mentioning that. So, all right, I guess let me, yeah, let me figure this out. What is the dependency here? No, it looks like, that looks like it's not, that looks like it's a, <laughs> what am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. That looks like it's like blocked by something. Doesn't that look, that looks like it's blocked. There's no dependencies. Uh, Infinity Catalyst. All right. Empower Diamantine. Not a problem. Silicon Rubber. Not a problem. Neutronium. We don't have Neutronium yet. All right. So, Neutronium is... That is what we need to work towards. So, that is... I'm assuming that's what the TNT is for. All right. Let me kind of figure out what we're doing here. I'm going to keep working on the runes. I don't know if we really need to show this much like i said it's not even that necessary and i did some in the other series all right uh, i am back i am actually just getting some ender pearls here because we ended up getting a advanced disc good we've actually gotten two of them or we got this one from the draconium and i just finished uh this quest and we get blue heart canisters which is actually pretty cool and the advanced dislocators but at this point i don't know how <laughs> really how uh useful that really is i mean yeah i guess it you know more hearts are always fun but uh yeah it's not the biggest thing in the world but uh yeah i figured why not why did i give you two of those uh, let's throw Sam, um, add fuel, shift, there we go, uh, add new, home, main, main, went, is that what it was? No, did I do it wrong? I think I did it wrong. <laughs> Eight. there we go, wait, no, it did there, remove. All right, that wasn't super crazy, um, but let's go up here. I just want to get rid of these things because I am tired of those for sure. Let's do, how about right here? Um, upstairs. That sounds stupid. Sounds kind of stupid, but oh well. There we go. Uh, just makes it a bit easier, but I do need to feed it fender pearls. Uh, but that way I can stop using those. But um, I did build the tier five. I got it set up and then I was going to start doing the tier six. And I realized that's like 20, or not 20, like 76 runes I'm going to have to make. And I'm like, do I really want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. Do I really want to spend the time doing this and the knacker or whatever? Uh, uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll just pretend. How about we just pretend that it's... It's up there. If we don't need it, I kind of don't see the point in spending real lifetime on it. Uh, but I'm actually going down here to do the next thing that I need to set up. And that is this. Now this place has turned into some pretty crazy, pretty crazy not organized it all down here but i kind of need it to be close to this so i can feed it the there it is where's my uh what the heck is my crescent wrench there it is crescent hammer um let's see i need toluene throw that over there that is we're gonna get it from this way there's other ways to do it but we'll just do it Wood tar, I guess. Yeah, 
easy enough. It's we get it from sludge. Um, but I need a three. Do that really quick. One, two, three. Right, let me throw that in there. And then E What was it from? It was wood wood tar, right? Yeah, wood tar. Which one is wood tar? That's vinegar, wood tar. What what uh color channel are we on? Blue. Okay. Blue. Yeah, blue. I couldn't remember which one was which. I guess I could have just looked at that. <laughs> all right, so it's not that one. Uh, all right, I'm probably going to have to switch which one voids again because the vinegar is the one. Put vinegar in there, too. Wait, I already have tuluid. <laughs> did I? What did I? I did set that up. Oh, I set it up for that. That's right. All right. Let's just pretend that we didn't just do that. <laughs> we'll just pretend we didn't do that. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is put this out into a thing. Now, this has a pretty sure. Isn't there like a robot arm? I put a robot arm on there, didn't I? Um, yeah, I want to just have this running permanently so drawer no we don't have drawers in this okay whatever how about no i don't really want a chest uh -huh. i don't feel like those are annoying and i don't have them set up to autocraft i don't i'll just do a chest this thing is really big hopefully it does not i'll probably switch that to one of these i just need to craft one up or no, I, a cache. I'll probably do a cache. I just don't have any. I don't have it. Oh, I do have some. That's right. I emptied these out. Right. Okay. There we go. Lock that. We'll just pretend I didn't do that. I keep forgetting about the thermal caches. You know, because I search for drawer and storage drawers aren't in here and I like... I have no idea what's going on if there's no storage drawers. Uh, that's funny. All right, so there we go. There's Toluid. I completely forgot and I'd set that up before. We'll just let that run and yeah. Um, I will maybe do like a chemical reactor right next to it or something to auto produce the. Maybe I'll do that. Chemical reactor, do I have any extra? No. I'll craft one up though. Uh, and let's see. Probably. Do I have any conveyor belts? I could just do a conveyor. I do. All right. We'll put it right here then. That's the cool thing about the conveyors. You can just put them right next to or on the machine. Easy enough. I need to get sulfuric acid in here, though. You know, I didn't even look what tier that was when I plopped that down. That could have been in <laughs> the wrong tier, and I could have blown that up. But, uh, all right. We'll do that there. Oh. Oh, you need the uh, screwdriver in this version. Import. All right. There we go. There's the gelled toluene, and then... I will pipe in sulfuric acid somehow. I don't remember if we're producing that somewhere. It's life essence. I don't know. I'll have to look that one. I can't remember if we're producing sulfuric acid. Or was I just doing that manually? I don't remember. I'll have to look that up. All right. So we got that. That is sort of 75% taken care of. I'll leave that there so I remember. But uh, I think... Um, I need to start automating this, which means I need to automate this, and I need to automate this. And if I want to automate this, I need to automate that. <laughs> that is sort of automated, not fully, though. Man, red matter. 
You stress me out. <laughs> All right, let me uh, do a bit more looking around and figure out what we want to do next. Um, we're going to need tons of draconium, so that's why I was thinking get that automated. But uh, was it? Man. Because I know you get the infinity egg gives us red matter, right? Is that what it was? Yeah. We throw this through an extractor. The molten, in, molten infinity. <laughs> oh, that's how you get that stuff. Cool. That's the infinity ingots. All right. Yeah, so that... I'm assuming this is pretty much... Yeah, we got to get awakened draconium. 20 blocks of the stuff. We got to get neutronium. Infinity blocks. Which I haven't looked at this. All right, so that's awakened draconium, argon, infinity catalyst. All right. Should I put that there? Neutronium. Right. I said that earlier. All right. Still not... I can't remember the... Right. That and that. How the hell did we get this? Oh, right. Byproduct that might each other be slowly dissolved in antimatter. So that, the ender, the ender chicken is what we have to get. Ender chicken was in the animus thing. Ender, the animus. What's the uh, summoning? Summoning thing. Ender chicken should be in here. There's the ender chicken. Three times ender chicken. Well, how many neutronium do we get? <laughs> how much neutronium, like piles of neutronium do we get? from that all right well we need liquid antimatter too oh man every time i feel like uh, like we're almost done with the pack i'm like oh there's a whole lot of stuff i haven't done yet uh antimatter that's a thing that i have no idea how to create yeah see now once we get the infinity egg we're good but i'm gonna have to look that up all right, so I've just been kind of looking at what uh, I should be doing, and one of the things we're going to need is this antimatter, and uh, I have no idea really how this is going to work. I may need to. Well, I'll probably have to look it up. Um, but uh, there is, yeah, right here, liquid antimatter with life essence comes in contact with lightning. It's extremely destructive, so yeah, that's a thing I need to be worried about. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna get a sigil of the storm, it does mention that to create the lightning that we need. So, figured why not get that? So, let's do that. Storm reagent, uh, water bucket, gas deer, fishing rod, sand, really easy. That, I think that worked. All right. There's just no texture. Um, but that will be the sigil of the storm. Now I need to grab a thing of lice essence. And uh, let's probably not do this in the middle of the base. That would be a very bad idea. Um, probably fly pretty far away to do it as well. Also, let's turn it to daytime. We don't get mobs, those crazy, those, uh, those annoying spider, flying spider things. Man, are those annoying. All right. So we got Sigil of the Storm. I'm assuming we just do like, yeah, right click causes that. Uh, all right. So where should we do this? I don't want this to like destroy my world. Is this like world destroying? I have no idea. Uh, should we maybe fly to like the moon or something? Do I have life essence? No, I don't. Let me grab life essence. And then I'm going to have to like look up. I was like, I can't do that, can I? Can I right click? No. It's kind of annoying. 
Uh, I do have it being... S I guess I could have thrown the bucket in the thing, but I have it in here somewhere. There it is. Alright, so I guess, yeah, let's, like, fly to the moon or something. Also, I don't have enough. <laughs> Getting used to using these. Uh, the discreator, it's gonna take a bit of getting used to, to be honest. Alright, uh, Aurelia was already really laggy. Let's not do that. The moon. Err, the moon. <clears throat> now, let's, I don't know, fly over here somewhere where I can... It won't be, like, chunk-loaded. I can fly away from it. It won't be chunk-loaded. So, how about we throw a... Anything down. Uh, antimatter. Just in case something goes awry, I know to <laughs> avoid this area or something like that. Alright, where are we? Eh, we're far enough away, I think. Alright, so... Um, is there... Oh, well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, I can probably pick it up with a bucket or something. Um, I did see... I did notice that the quest actually gives you a shape card, like a pump. So I'm assuming I should, like... Somehow do something. Like, place the life essence, but... I'm assuming if this is, like, a block placer right next to it it will instantly void that with the thing i'm really just i want to kind of test it out and see how this works so i'm going to try this and then try to quickly grab grab it to see if that works oh god oh is that it that's not as scary as i thought that would be <laughs> I thought I was going to, like, eat away at the world. That quest is misleading. <laughs> that made it sound like it was going to, like, destroy the world. Liquid antimatter is created in life. It will turn anything it touches into antimatter, which will cause a cascade of destruction to all mantar blocks when mined. Oh. Oh. Wait a second. Does that... All right, hold on. Does this turn to anti like a liquid if I mine it? Is that what it that does? Now nah, I'm scared. Am I missing something here? <laughs> I guess that I mean I guess that destroyed the blocks, but hmm. I don't know. I'm a little bit confused on Okay, there's that. Like what happens if I I break that. Will that cause some craziness? All right, there we go. That that's kind of what I was thinking was going to happen. All right, so that's interesting. <laughs> kind of a cool mechanic, actually. But uh, so the running—it's the running that causes the cascade. Interesting. All right, but uh, obviously, as we can see. Placing it down is going to turn the... That will turn any block placer down. So I need to do... Something that would, like, drop it would be... Right? Is that what I'm thinking? Now, what the heck would drop it? Or... The question is, how much do I really need? There's that flux, or there is that... Uh... Man, like flux. Now I could actually do wireless. Um, also, one bucket. All right, there we go. I didn't know that was a. Oh, well, that just took my. <laughs> you took my land. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to take my liquid antimatter. Um, all right. Well, that's completely worthless. Like one twenty-eight. That's so worthless. Um, get out! I don't even want to look at you. <laughs> so there, um, there must be like a there must be a thing 
Rending Gale. What the heck is a Rending Gale? I have no idea. Oh, shoots lightning. Interesting. Um, I don't have a pedestal though, and the pedestal is not the easiest thing in the world to make. I was looking at that earlier. Yeah, that's eh, a little complicated with the four. I mean, it's really the four red matter. Uh, all right, so that will get us the flux, but why did we? I'm trying to remember why we needed this. Didn't we need it for... Hmm. Maybe that was... Okay, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> I thought we needed this for something earlier on. It wasn't just for Flux, was it? Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, there I said it. Oh, it's Charged Draconium. That's what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So we did need it for that. Uh, now we're... Things are making sense now. Now, the question is, how the heck are we going to farm this? All right, let me think about how I want to do this. Uh, that would be... Charged Draconium is how we're going to get the Awakened Draconium, right? Yes. <clears throat> All right, but before we really get into that, we need... All right, we do have a Sky Cauldron. All right, I guess I could do this. Yeah, I can set this up. Let me set this up and uh, we do that. But we still need the thing. Maybe I need to look into the Ender Chicken. Should we summon an Ender Chicken? That needs to be on an Aurelia, doesn't it? Let's do that. Okay, so we are back in the base. Uh, I've gone ahead and got the stuff that we need. Why do shifting stars have to be so annoying? It's the liquid starlight that's an annoying bit. But uh, all right, so I got that stuff. And then I realized as I was looking at the thing, I'd forgotten that we need a catalyst uh dragon egg well we don't have a dragon egg and uh we don't have a ender a dragon thingamajig uh but we can get one from the creative modal learning learner or whatever i would say module i know it's not module but uh yeah so i decided i need to do this anyway there is a quest for it so yeah the quest what I mean, so we do this, we get that, and then uh, just realized is that going to be no? I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to kill the under dragon. No, hmm. All right, that complicates things a little bit more because I was looking at the end crystal. Uh, one, I am definitely for sure 100% not going to kill the chaos dragon again. But the end crystals are kind of annoying to make, to be honest. Um, although... This isn't the end of the world anymore. But it's still a bit of a pain. I guess I should... Uh, we're going to need that anyway for red matter. So I guess I should get that automated. Uh, so I'm going to have to get this. So the thermal... We need the pristine thermal elemental, so I need to get that easy enough. I just did the basals, which is the experience with obsidian dust, easy enough. So we got that, but I need to level this up because I can't get the the thing from that. Now, I think I think these spawned over by the. Is it nighttime? Almost nighttime. Sometimes the night vision is kind of weird. Anyway, I think they spawn... Don't they spawn over by the... I can't remember. Up here, I think this is where my... Let me go... Yeah, let me check that out and see if I can level that up. Over by the nether portal is what I'm trying to say. Also, I don't know why I moved the I moved the spawn point for the nether portal and it still spawns in the same spot. I don't know. I moved it back here. Like this is like the actual coordinate, but for some reason it still spawns in there. Uh does it 
There's like creepers, but what the heck is that thing? What is that? <laughs> yeah, do we see like any of those elemental things? I don't remember. I need to get my bow here because we got incoming. Yeah, that's I'm so bad shot. All right, so I guess I'll see if I can find some of these. I don't remember if I've gotten these before, but I thought they I thought they spawned in the. I thought I remember seeing them. I could be wrong though. Oh, we got a thing over there. So I will. Oh, there's a griffin thing over there. Yeah, let me see if I can level this up. Oh man, these spider things are crazy. Oops, killing my own guys. <laughs> They're stuck, <laughs> stuck in there. All right, yeah, let me see if I can level this up. Otherwise, there may be a way to spawn them. I don't remember. If there is a, what are they called? With this thing, maybe? Yeah, Blizz. All right, I can actually do that. That's easier. <laughs> yeah, we'll just do that in the base. I even have a thing set up for it. Be right back. All right, easy enough. There we go. Level it up. I totally forgot we could do that with the uh the ritual all right so i got this leveled up where i put this down here didn't i yes hmm. that's a bit awkward because i need to change this now uh i guess i don't need to well we'll just throw that in the a system i guess where did i put my right here all right so we'll get this then i guess i'm gonna have to yeah i guess i'm gonna have to Get a whole bunch of. I'm gonna have to get a whole bunch of Ender Dragon stuff. I think. I guess there. I don't think there's any other way to do that. If I'm not mistaken. All right. Come on. There we go. Sure, that works. There we go. All right. Cool. I got a few of those. Um, I will just throw. Man, I have too much, too many things that look similar. <laughs> like the, they kind of like. Anyway, uh, what was it doing that? So we got that. We got that. Don't need that. Don't need that. That. We got that. We have two, right? Yeah, because we need this one for this. What was the last thing I needed? Dark matter. There we go. So, two dark matter. Alright, I got enough for this. Do I have a thing with Teflon? I am pretty sure I have one with Teflon, don't I? Oh man, is it supposed to be that one? Am I out? No! Maybe out. Am I out? Of, uh, did I run out of Teflon? No, maybe I didn't. Maybe that was the empty one. Alright, there we go. Found it. I knew I had one somewhere. Uh, no! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to move it over to the other one. Take that out of there. Take that out of there. Oh, I'm low on soldering now, line too. Alright, there we go. That, 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 that. Yay! There we go. Alright, cool. So that will be the creative. And that will get us the Ender Dragon. It was too slow. But. Alright, there we go. So, also. Wait, no. I can just use this to level it up, right? I don't have to level up anymore? Hold on. There we go. Alright, so we got that. Deep. So how does this work? Uh, 
Creative item that levels up data modules inside the deep. Okay, this is. I'm not gonna like void this by doing that, right? Hmm. Shift right click to increase tier. Control right click to simulate kills. Oh, simulate kills. What did it say? Shift. Shift right click. Oh, wait. It did. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fully leveled up. It didn't. I thought it was going to make like a sound or something, but it didn't. Uh, all right, cool. So I can actually do that with all my things if I want to. Doesn't really matter. I could even do it with the witch thing that we're doing here. Like, might as well, right? Pull that out and here. Shift right click. Software. Two OP. All right, I actually do need a. Didn't I say I needed a? I need an Ender Dragon thing. And oh come on. And oh come on. <laughs> really? Forty-two percent chance, and we're not getting it. Oh wait, no. Oh, there we go. We finally got it. That seemed like way more than. <laughs> that seemed like way more than a forty-two percent chance. But uh, all right, let's take that out, and I'll put my witch back in there. All right, so there we go. We got pristine ender dragon matter. Um, I will throw this through the thing over there, right? Is that what? That's the thing we put it through. We get our dragon eggs, and then uh, next episode we will start out. We will summon the Ender Chicken, and I will look into antimatter. But anyway, that's gonna be it for today. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.